Welcome to ABC 31 News Tonight. I'm Scott Beadle. Stormy conditions today could be a precursor to what we can expect later this week. Chief Meteorologist Chris Summers is keeping watch on a system in the Gulf that could turn into something major. That's our top story on this Monday evening. Let's go right now to Chris in the Weather Center. Hey Scott, yeah, definitely watching the threat of a tropical storm developing in the Gulf of Mexico. Latest information we have from the National Hurricane Center does have the tropical storm right now located uh, down about the center of the Gulf of Mexico with sustained winds about 40 miles per hour. Now our computer models are estimating that the winds are going to pick up a little bit, but they're going to stay in the uh, tropical storm category. That means not going to get over that threshold of 73 miles per hour to get into the next uh, hurricane status. So we'll see that actually stay between about 40 to 50 mile per hour sustained winds as it moves a little further to the north and west. And eventually by Wednesday night into early Thursday is when we expect it to hit right about the, the border of Texas and Louisiana again as a tropical storm. And our biggest concern here in central Louisiana is going to be the heavy rainfall. Anytime you're on the east side of the tropical storm, that's where you'll see the heaviest rain come with the system. And the way the track is going right now, again, this is a, a little early to be estimating this, but looks like it's going to be to our west, which means we'll be in the heavy rainfall here in central Louisiana. Not really looking like a, the biggest as far as rain and as far as winds go, but again, the heavy rainfall is going to be the biggest impact we could see uh, Wednesday night into early Thursday. But again, any change in track of this will actually make a big difference and something to keep an eye on here the next 24 to 48 hours. You can sure follow us on Facebook or on Twitter at ABC 31 weather and make sure you follow us there as we'll keep it up to date here over the next couple of days. Now, right now we already see some tropical storm watches and warnings out along the Gulf Coast of Louisiana. Again, the tropical storm actually from about Houston uh, over to parts of central Louisiana along the Gulf Coast and then actually seeing that tropical storm warning over towards uh, the areas to the south and east of the uh, Louisiana area as well. Now for tonight, though, still a couple of thunderstorms out there right now. We have to keep a deal with that as temperatures were in the 90s here late this afternoon. And then we'll watch that system get a little bit closer to our area the next couple of days and that should increase the rain chances for us by the time we get to Wednesday or Thursday. And we'll talk more about that with your full forecast coming up in just a few more minutes. All right, thank you, Chris. Louisiana lawmakers are home early from a special session necessitated by their inability to adopt a budget for the new fiscal year, which starts on July 1st. This time around, they adopted a compromise version that had been presented during the regular session. But many fear there will still be mid-year cuts because revenues could not reach expectations. The 2017 Busy Awards was a night of glitz and glam. There were 16 categories, but 17 awards given due to a tie for the best interior design of a business. Winners were selected by a weighted vote, 20% from a chamber member vote, and 80% from a panel of three judges made up of chamber executives and other communities from other communities in the states. The Food Bank of Central Louisiana wants to remind the public that donations are needed during the summer just as much as any other time of the year. We need people to remember that and, you know, host food drives, donate food, donate funds and volunteer. You know, we are busy during the summer. You know, those same families that need us during the holidays need us during the summer months. And so we just want people to be aware of that and to remember. And if they have some extra time on their hand, you know, they have a few dollars they can donate or they're at the store and want to pick up um, a couple of extra things and drop it by the food bank. We certainly would appreciate it. You can visit the Food Bank's website for more information at fbsenla.org. The Grand Sheriff's Office says two escapees from the minimum security federal prison in Pollock are back in custody. The two men, one from New Orleans, the other from Natchitoches, reportedly surrendered to authorities. And several stories on the local crime beat tonight. Alexandria police say they pulled over a man for suspected DWI, found a woman in the driver's seat. Seems they may have switched places. They arrested 30-year-old Christopher Chafin of Pineville and 22-year-old Venus Wyndham of Ball on a variety of charges. He's charged with DWI, third offense, reckless operation, and obstruction of justice. She's charged with obstruction of justice. Police say it happened at Jackson and MacArthur. Rapids deputies arrest a Pineville man for allegedly shooting at a vehicle. 39-year-old Jeffrey Evan Burnham of Ball is charged with criminal damage to property. Rapids deputies say a couple has been arrested in connection with a theft on Highway 1204 in Pineville. There are 26-year-old Jason Kyle Elias and 38-year-old Christy Ann Bennett, both of Pineville. Deputies say they took stolen items to a local recycling business. Grant deputies say a couple from Pollock was arrested after a disturbance. 45-year-old Robin Downs and 57-year-old Charles Wayne Oxner were taken into custody. 
Deputies say they found drugs and smoking pipes in plain sight after being summoned for a complaint of someone refusing to leave a home. And Grant deputies say a report of a suspicious person leads to the arrest of a man from Colfax for burglary and criminal trespass. 32-year-old Brian Joseph Burks is also accused of taking jewelry and resisting an officer. Alexandria's residents celebrated one of the oldest and largest Juneteenth celebrations over the weekend. ABC 31's Char Thomas has the story. This weekend of Juneteenth celebration has been leading up to this day. That's right. I got the inside scoop on how Central Louisiana celebrated and how they will end the celebration tonight. On June 19th in 1865, Galveston, Texas slaves were notified that they were free. After hearing this news, Juneteenth has been celebrated and is still being celebrated 152 years later. So we have to be our own support system and support one another in this community. African Americans have come a long way, but we still have a long way to go. And so it's just a great thing to see us all here together celebrating for one great cause. And um, I'm just looking forward to tonight. Saturday, Alexandria's residents paraded through the streets and continued to Franco Hunter Park for Children's Fun Day. Later that evening, the adults got to enjoy a Zydeco concert at the Amphitheater. Tonight at 630, they will end the celebration with a powerful worship service at Second Evergreen Baptist Church. For more information, contact Carolyn Frazier at 318-792-6736. Char Thomas, ABC 31 News. The Junior League of Alexandria introduced its first League of Trucks event on Saturday morning. The event consisted of many different trucks for kids to enjoy and to explore. We also got to meet Alexandria community heroes. The purpose of this fundraiser is to bring the community together and to help the Junior League of Alexandria improve the community. First annual League of Trucks event going on right now and it is just been fabulous. We had our silent hour from 9 to 10 and that had a huge crowd and now we've got all our horns and sirens and it's just been a lot of fun. We just um, we really wanted a community event that really all of the family could enjoy no matter what age you were. I've been on a pizza truck. I've been on the truck by, right by you and I'm going to come back next year. The Junior League of Alexandria plans to continue leagues of trucks, promising next year will be even bigger and better. Young ladies are getting a taste of what life was like back in the 18th century. ABC 31's Joanna Phillips has that story. For over 15 years, the Kent Plantation House has been hosting a summer event for girls ages 8 through 12. Jane and June is based on the life of women in the 18th century. Our primary focus is to teach them a little bit about how lives were different for girls their age in the early part of the 1800s. We focus a lot on table manners, table etiquette, whenever we have our, our meals and our tea time every afternoon. They work on projects like sewing, gardening, painting. They keep a journal for the week. Um, they get to take a tour of the house and grounds, of course. But we want to give them a little bit of appreciation for the fact that lives their lives are, would have been much more difficult back in the 1800s, and they would have been a lot simpler. Throughout the week-long camp, girls participate in arts and crafts, gardening, sewing, tea parties, and learning how a proper young lady would engage in daily activities in the 1800s. One young lady has been coming to the Jane and June camp for three years now. Over the years, she's used her sewing skills learned at the camp and put them to good use. I usually sew things for my little sister when she breaks them. <laughs> like one time she broke her little Halloween costume so I had to sew it back. One of my favorite things is learning proper etiquette and how to throw a little tea party and stuff like that because my little sister, every time after Jane, Jane and June camp, she makes me throw a tea party for her. On the last day of camp, the girls will set up a tea party to enjoy with their parents. The Kent Plantation House is a representation of Southern plantation life in the 17th and 18th centuries, which is why it's a perfect place for the Jane and June summer camp. Joanna Phillips, ABC 31 News. It is time for the 2017 Miss Louisiana pageant. 32 young women from all over the state are in Monroe this week preparing to compete for the crown. Along with the title, they're competing for thousands of dollars in scholarships. 
an honor not only to serve as the Goodwill Ambassador for Children's Miracle Network, but to be able to spread my platform on a larger scale and touch so many more people. And I can do that as myself, but as Miss Louisiana, I'd just be able to do it on The preliminary competition begins on Thursday, and the new Miss Louisiana will be crowned on Saturday night by the 2016 winner, Justine Kerr, during a statewide TV broadcast. Enter to win a carport from Quality Outdoor Products in Leesville. An $800 value in the color of your choice, plus option to upgrade to something bigger at Quality Outdoor Products. To enter, register online, on Facebook or Twitter. Enter daily to increase your chances of winning. This carport could be yours from KLAX TV and Quality Outdoor Products in Leesville. See official rules at KLAXTV.com. And welcome back everyone. A good Monday evening to you. Keeping our eyes on a tropical system down in the Gulf of Mexico that has now developed into a tropical storm, or at least has the intent, uh, the, the reason to maybe look at a tropical storm anyway, as we go through the next couple of days. And the National Hurricane Center has put out a track for this system as it starts to make its way a little further to the north and west. And as we get it to about late Wednesday night into early Thursday, looking like this tropical cyclone possibly could be entering the Texas, Louisiana border. And as it does so then being a tropical depression, it looks like it as it comes on land, it will actually, of course, lose some of its strength. But the biggest concern for us is going to be some heavy rain potential. And right now, our computer models are putting anywhere between four inches of rain here in central Louisiana, up to as much as 12 inches of rain as the system moves through here. So something to keep an eye on here. Again, the exact track of it, not quite in stone here. As you can see, this is what we call a cone of uncertainty. This line here indicates where this track could actually go. Could go a little further to the west into Texas. Could come a little further to the east here, more into central Louisiana. So again, the tracking of the system is a bit of a concern, but I do think that for Wednesday night into Thursday, the potential for some pretty heavy rain is in our forecast, and you can definitely keep an eye on that with us by following along on Facebook and on Twitter at ABC 31 Weather. Make sure you go out and like that page and follow that page, and we'll keep you up to date uh, with any more significant uh, developments that happen here over the next several days. Now, our seeing some tropical storm watches and warnings along the coast are ready. I've seen some flash flood watches and warnings along uh, parts of Mississippi and also Louisiana, too. Our concern, though, for right now is some showers and thunderstorms that had developed across our area along with the cloud cover, too. You can see a few of those showers and thunderstorms again right along the border of the Mississippi and Louisiana, seeing some of those heavier rain uh, showers and thunderstorms making their way basically due south almost, but I'll see another round just to our north and west. Uh, between us and about Monroe, so basically north central Louisiana. Again, those continue to push off to the south as well. So something to keep an eye on here tonight into the overnight hours. Could see a few isolated showers or thunderstorms in our forecast. Today, though, a hot one out there today. We made it back in the 90s once again, 93 degrees. Our high temperature late this afternoon and for the uh, for our Tuesday should see temperatures drop back into the upper 80s. But again, partly to mostly sunny skies, more scattered showers and thunderstorms possible as we head into the afternoon hours as well. I think the biggest chance of rain will come for us Wednesday night into Thursday as that tropical system finally makes its way on land. And again, that's where we could see that heavy rainfall developing across our area. But until then, we're just going to see maybe a few showers out there for your Tuesday. Again, it looks like that most of the rain will stay down to our south through southern Louisiana on Tuesday, but it could be an isolated shower or thunderstorm in our area. Then we'll watch that system come in on Wednesday and Thursday. For tonight, though, back low 70s in most areas. Again, a shower or thunderstorm possible this evening. And as we get to your uh, Tuesday, back into a shower or thunderstorm chance in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 80s. And our seven-day forecast, yeah, showing that heavy rain coming in on Thursday, 84. And keeping the rain chances around as we head into the weekend, too, with highs in the upper 80s to low 90s. And again, make sure you follow us on Twitter or Facebook at ABC 31 Weather to get all the latest updates on this tropical system. Scott? Thank you, Chris. Coming up in sports, the Louisiana Tech Volleyball Program releases their 2017 schedule, and one of Northwestern State's own is going pro. Zach's in next with sports. Enter to win free tickets to Splash Kingdom Water Park in Shreveport, courtesy of KLAX TV. Each winner gets a family four pack and a great day of fun. Enter on our website, on Facebook, or on Twitter, and register to win today. Download the KLAX weather app for your smartphone or tablet. Get live current conditions, radar maps, alerts, and more. More ways to stay connected with KLAX TV. For Beatrice Satura, playing professional basketball was a lifelong dream. And come August, her dream will be realized. The former lady, Demon Hoopster, has signed a professional contract with 
Herner TC, a member of the German Bundesliga League. The first team all Southland Conference selection averaged 20.6 points per game and connected on a single season school record 88 three pointers last season. Tura finished her career ranked seventh in school history in three balls and 12th in program history in career scoring. Her 619 points during the 2015-16 season was the fifth most in a single season at Northwestern State. Today, the Louisiana Tech volleyball program has unveiled its 2017 schedule. That'll be sure to challenge a young and talented Lady Texter squad. The 29-game slate features only 10 home games and a season opening game on August 25th against Ole Miss. The Lady Texters open the home court September the 8th against Arkansas Pine Bluff in the Lady Texter Invitational. La Tech has a rugged out-of-conference slate that includes the contest at Ole Miss. Two other squads that had sub-100 RPIs in 2016 that show up on their schedule. That includes North Dakota and St. Louis. LT will also match up with Lamar, Jacksonville State, and Southern in out-of-conference home tilts. And on Saturday, the LSU Tigers found their way into the winner's bracket after their 5-4 World Series opening win over Florida State. LSU right fielder Greg Deakman drove in the go-ahead run in the bottom of the eighth inning, while Jared Pache tied the school record for career wins to enhance the Tigers' chances of possibly winning a national championship. The win for the Tigers, their 17th straight. They now enter a matchup with the nation's top-ranked Oregon State Beavers in a game that's currently airing on ESPN. We'll have more on that game tomorrow night right here on KLAX. The NASCAR Monster Energy Cup Series headed north on Sunday to the Irish Hills of Brooklyn, Michigan. There's Keelan Harvick, son of Kevin, helping Dad out with his gloves prior to the command to fire engines on Father's Day, but it was Martin Truex Jr. who came out guns a-blazing, making it look easy as he earns a pair of playoff bonus points with wins in each of the first two stages. It was a rather uneventful day until late in stage three. Daniel Suarez gets loose and turns into, you guessed it, Danica Patrick. She slams the infield safer barrier. But in the end, Kyle Larson having a breakout season beats everyone back to the checkered flag to claim his second win of the season, beating out Chase Elliott by about one second. Things going to get real interesting next week. The series going road racing in Sonoma. The final round of the 117th U.S. Open at Aaron Hills Sunday afternoon. The course situated about a half an hour west, northwest of downtown Milwaukee in rural Wisconsin. It was very windy as is evidence right there. Overnight leader Brian Harmon was looking to stay atop the leaderboard. He's going to roll the long birdie putt to the bottom of the cup to tie Brooks Kepka for the lead at 13 under, but sometimes things are just meant to be, and that was the case today, excuse me, yesterday for Kepka, who rolls in the championship par putt on the 18th green, besting Harmon by three strokes and becoming the seventh straight first time major winner in the process. All right, thank you, Zach. You bet. We'll be back right after this. ABC 31 KLAX, the exclusive provider of ABC programming in central Louisiana. We are the only station where you can watch new, first-run ABC programs like Dancing with the Stars. Designated it's a survivor. Go strike the enemy. Grey's Anatomy. Grey's can deliver. Damn right. Hi, I'm Michael Bailey. Call me at the number on the screen. See how easy and affordable television advertising can be. And taking a look at our seven day forecast, definitely keep an eye on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We could see heavy rain in the area from a tropical cyclone that has developed in the Gulf of Mexico. Keep an eye on the track of that system right now. It looks like the track will take it into the border of basically Texas and Louisiana. So the area of heaviest rain will be to the east of that area, which would be here in central Louisiana. But again, any track change a little further east, a little further west, it would make a big difference on totals here. But again, it looks like Thursday, Friday will be where we have the potential for heavy rain. Right now, computer model estimates anywhere between four to possibly six inches of rain as it makes its way through here. Temperatures by the weekend, upper 80s to low 90s once the system moves on out. All right, thank you, Chris. And thanks for watching ABC 31 News. Have a great night. Our military makeover recognizes the sacrifice of a deserving young Marine. Tune in and learn about an American hero, the community and the companies who come together to give back.
pray. Crime Watch Daily airs weekdays at 3 on KLAX-TV.